next segment uh, again uh, we are talk, going to talk more about features and we will talk about SIFT features, which are again a very interesting set of features. And this is uh, going to, at a high level, SIFT features includes both your HOG features, as well as like the the previous and the key point extraction. Uh, what we discussed, the corner detection, no, not exactly, but that's like the, the high level goal because you are the in in key points or uh, the corner detection. You are actually trying to detect the key points, right, which are more important. The HOG features, you don't care about key points. You are extracting features from all the possible locations. Now, the idea in SIFT is, what if we don't extract features from all the locations? What if we extract features from only salient regions or key points? And that's that's why like the first part is key point detection. You try to localize which are the important points, and then you extract HOG type features from those locations, okay? So again, this was like 2004, and it's it's a very uh, popular uh, paper. And I think last year it was like cited more than 68,000 times, which is uh, which is a huge number. So citation is something like that many papers have actually referred to this work, which which is I would say brilliant. Okay. So SIFT actually uh, the full name is Scale Invariant Feature Transform, and as the name says. These features will be scale invariant, which means that you might have your objects at multiple scales, even though even then your features are not going to change. Okay, you will still be able to capture uh, them pretty well. And the the idea is, okay. So as I said, like uh, these again, these features are first of all invariant to scale. They are also invariant to translation, which means that if you if you move your object in your input image still you will extract the same set of features and they are invariant to rotation which means that if you rotate your object still your features will not change again which is a very very powerful uh, feature and uh, of course they are invariant to scale as i as i said earlier okay so these are some interesting uh, properties of sif features now what we do is given an input given an input image we try to uh, extract like these uh, local features which are again based on key point uh, extraction. And I think we have seen this image earlier as well. So the idea is if you look at the image on the left, so this is a truck. And as a human, we can say that this is a truck. Of course, the orientation of this truck and the truck shown on the right image, it's, it's quite different, right? The orientation is different. The rotation is different. The scale is different. And as a human, we can easily say that these are like almost similar trucks, but for a computer with an algorithm, it's it's very challenging. Okay, so what SIFT does is, as we discussed, like SIFT is scale invariant, rotation invariant, as well as uh, the uh, as well as translation invariant, and we have all those three factors here in these two images. the The way it works is, you first try to find out the key points. Okay, and this is just giving like a uh, the the idea at a conceptual level. So these orange blocks over here, these will be the key points. Okay, so in this left image, the algorithm will detect like uh, these many key points. And one interesting aspect you can see that the the key point when it's located, you also have the orientation of that key point because these blocks are not just like vertical or horizontal right they are not perfectly placed there they have some kind of orientation some kind of rotation so that property actually helps you in making the algorithm scale invariant oh sorry rotation invariant because then you can handle rotation in your input images okay the second thing is you can see like these blocks are not not like same sized okay so these blocks are pretty small these are pretty huge so when we detect these key points, we, we focus on detecting the orientation. That was the first part. We also focus on the scale of the key point. Okay, for example, this key point, the scale is pretty small as compared to this one. And if we have that factor, then of course the algorithm will have like scale invariance property. Okay, so these are the key points on the left image, again, with the size of the key point, as well as the orientation of the key point. And what you do is, uh, what you do is for each key point, you adjust like the orientation. So you will just rotate it 
make it like a normalized uh, ori uh, orientation and then you will also like normalize the scale so that all the bonding boxes or all the uh, blocks you have have same size and then you extract those patches and that's what is being shown here okay so the orientation is aligned the scale is fixed and then these are the patches extracted from this image right and similarly this is like image of the same object but of course different orientation different rotation and there is some translation as well so you detect these uh, key points again and you can see that if you adjust the orientation adjust the scale the the key idea is you will get similar patch and if you're extracting similar patches for these two different images then whatever feature you extract for this particular patch that feature is going to match and if that feature is matching then you will be able to match these two images as well okay so that's the high level idea and of course when it, the algorithm will not be this perfect there will be some distortion in edges or some distortion in, in orientations and one you can see that you are not actually detecting equal number of key points as well. Okay, in this case, you have five different uh, key points. In this one, you have only three key points. But still, you will have all those uh, issues. But still, I think it will uh, uh, it will try to uh, do, do its job. 